What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Knowledge Bomb. Boom, 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 boom! What's up? Episode 448. I'm actually not going to do the Knowledge Bomb. This Knowledge Bomb is actually explained by my homie and friend, Travis Mash, who's one of the USA Olympic lifting coaches. He's finishing his PhD at Lenore Ryan University. He works for a velocity company. He's super smart and world record power lifter, Olympic lifter, blah, blah, blah. He's a fucking beast. He's been in the game. He's 50 years old. And I just watched him do 275 plus two blacks on each side on a front squat, which is like 500 pounds. He is going to actually explain to you exactly why we use bands. Travis, take it away. When you do a squat, when you do anything, when you stretch the muscle, there's a couple things that happen. It's like, if you think about, uh, there's muscle spindles that run along parallel to your muscle fibers. Mm -hmm. And so when those stretch, you know, and they're automatically, they're connected directly to your uh, spinal cord. So they don't have to go to the brain and back. They go to the spinal cord okay. and back. So they cause passive contraction. They cause you to contract, you know, that stretch reflex, the bounce at the bottom. Yeah. The Golgi tendon organ is, is in the tendon. And what happens when it feels that pressure, you know, like that grinding where you're slowing down. Yeah. They they will inhibit the muscle and turn it off, and like cause you to like can't do it because it's it's worried that you're gonna tear the muscle okay. or tear the tendon, and so there's two different things. So it causes it inhibits the muscles. Okay, the muscle spindles in, increases. You know it it helps to contract. So they're they're both important in the stretch reflex. So now, when your point with bands is like because I'm going. You know, when it pulls you faster, when you have a day, yeah. you know, it won't be, now there's definitely merit to the pausing, yeah. but when you have your day where you're just going as fast as you can, okay. so I, this is where velocity really comes in, and like, is that if I go as fast as I can under control, yeah. what happens is that gold tendon organ gets used to that, and it, it's inhibited, and it starts saying, okay, we're fine, mm. we're not over time, so in the faster you go, the more efficient the joint, you know, so muscle spindles. And yes, you're, you're saying you're teaching the Goldie tendon organ to chill out, don't mm -hmm. turn me off. And you're teaching the uh, muscle spindles to contract even faster. And those are passive contractions. Those are things happening with you. It's not you. Mm. Your body is lifting it for you. It's creating that much force at that rate too. And so the faster I'm pulled down, the faster it'll turn around. And so like there's a merit for yeah. days of like, and it doesn't necessarily, it's not so much about how f it, that it's a certain speed, it's that you're going as fast as you can. And so, like, that's the compensatory acceleration, meaning when I'm in the bottom, I'm going to push as hard as I can to the tip top. And bands allow you to accelerate to the top without the weight coming off of you. Yep. So there's like, you know, that's like three different things that bands help mm -hmm. with that neuromuscular, you know, um, reaction of the stretch reflex. Yeah, yeah. So and then when you take that shit off, you feel like, astronomically fast because sure, totally. we're we because what we found out too travis is that if we load up on like our back squat day if i know i'm going to squat 700 in the meet right i've got to take 800 to 830 850 in total tension totally so it's like then i'm you know when i unrack that weight it doesn't yes. even feel uh, like that heavy right because my nervous system has already felt that, it though. it's like yes as an athlete i know exactly what you're talking yeah. about yeah but a researcher doesn't even comprehend that, you know. Like yeah, it feels like. But I know my unrack is eight thirty. Yeah. It's like you know. Then when I go to the meet, especially bloat, then you have super compensation. Yes. I've had more rest. I'm bloated. Correct. I've got it. I've got the hype of the adrenaline. Like the, all I'm, of that works I know together. Eight hundred feels like exactly feels like a joke. I get it. Yeah. That's, you know, potentiation is like you're teaching your body. You know, you are even when you're doing say the bands and it's super yep. heavy. Now you're getting, and that's all part of what I told you too, the stretch reflex. So the body is already giving feedback. You yeah. know, you get the afferent, efferent, you know, the, some, some things are going um, the, at the joints. They're picking up certain things and giving it back to your brain mm -hmm. saying what to do about it. So like when it's used to 800, it doesn't send this emergency signal of like, oh shit, we're in trouble. Got it's it. like, oh, 700 is nothing, you know? So like all of it is so neuromuscular. It, I mean, Andy Galvin, it, Yes, it's definitely muscular and it's definitely cellular, but it has a lot to do with that neuromuscular junction. It also makes you a fucking dog. 